Hi, this is Storyweaver. I'm going to show you how to use the D&D 3.5 platform on Foundry VTT to create a custom race and create a custom ability that goes with it, a racial ability. So, for starters, I'm going to base the race off of an existing one. This is a, a much simpler process and demonstrates the things I want to show to you. So go to the races compendium, the built-in one for the 3.5 platform, find Gray Elf, and import it. You'll, show, you'll see it show up in your items collection here. Also, look at the special feature Elven Blood. I'm going to customize that. So I've clicked on that to have a look at it. I click import, and I also get a copy of that. I'm going to customize both of these. I'm going to call this a custom elf. And I'm going to customize this elven blood feature to be called custom blood. I could go further and customize other things about this race and this racial abilities. Just assume that I did. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't change what I have to do here. The one important thing that I do have to do is I need to change this uh, UID here. So I will call this story custom blood. So it has a unique name. Now, I can't just find custom blood here right now, and that's because the system does not understand that this is a valid racial ability. I need to do a few other steps for that. So I need to create a custom races com uh, compendium and a racial abilities compendium. I already have them. But if you don't, creating these is very simple. Create compendium. If you need to create a races compendium, it's of type item. Call it, you must call it exactly races. You cannot you can only have one of these and it must be called exactly this races and when you create the racial abilities your own racial abilities compendium it must be called exactly this racial abilities and you can only ever have one of these obviously don't forget to spell it correctly once you've got those created as I do you start let me move this over in case you were looking at that list of mine we will start with the racial ability. We're going to build things from the ground up. I will take custom blood and put it in there. And when this reloads, it's going to understand there's a new racial ability with this UID, which will be available to select and add to the class. In order to do this, I must hit uh, refresh. So I'm going to do that now. F5, the F5 key will reload everything. Let me go back up to the corner where I can focus in on this very bland background. Now when I go to edit the custom elf that I have in my items collection, I haven't, I haven't yet put it in my races collection because I'm not finished editing it. Custom elf. Now when I go to special features, you will see I have custom blood and I can add it to this race and I can delete elven blood. I've now customized my race. I can take that race and put it in the races compendium. Now I've got this finished. I will hit refresh again. And now When I open, uh, when I go to create a new actor, create actor, and I want to pick a new race from the race compendium. Well, it's not available there, but I should be able to add it directly from my items collection. There we go. Check for abilities, racial traits, you will see custom blood. All 
All right. So at the very least, you'll be able, uh, be able to add your races directly to your class from there. Or when you want to add them, you can also take them from your custom races compendium here. There you go. And that's how you can create a custom race with a custom ability.